Salam, children. Isn't it? It is exciting. Did you guys see the moon? We've scanned the sky and we sighted the moon. Oh, mashallah. I am so happy too. Isn't it amazing that it seems like Ramadan began just the other day and now the whole month has passed? I just hope we made the most of the month while it was still here. I was wondering if I could do it, but Allah helped me and I kept all my fast. Mashallah. I tried to keep as many as I could. Oh, mashallah. I'm so proud of both of you. And when you try to fast when you're young, and as you get older and the fast becomes compulsory for both of you, it will be much, much easier. And Allah makes it so easy on all of us. So tell me, what are your plans for the day of Eid? I'm going to go to my grandmother's house, and she's the best cook you can find. I'm going to see all my uncles, aunts, cousins, pets, cats, chickens. Woo! We have quite a family. Mashallah. How about you, Aisha? Well, you're so lucky. My family is sprinkled all over the world, so we don't see each other, but we talk to each other. Oh, Aisha, I know how you feel. You know, now that I'm so far away from my mom and dad, I miss them so much, and it's harder on days of celebration like Eid. And, but then I think about it, I think, well, at least I have family out there who love me and care about me, and I still get to see every once in a while. Imagine those poor people out there who don't have anybody, any family, and there's so many of them out there. But the same, they're not always alone. Allah is always with them. Oh, you know, you're right, Yusuf. We should actually remember that Allah is always with us and He's blessed us with so much. You know, just like Ramadan was a month to remind us of those less fortunate, so is the day of Eid as well. Because we pay a special zakah, zakat al-fitr, as a special remembrance to our duty to the poor. And we try to give gifts to each other as well on the day of Eid to remind each other how special they are and how special they are to us and to remind them to bring families together and friends together. Before I forget, I've got a special gift that I got for my aunt in Morocco. Wow, Aisha, that's wonderful. Let's have a look. It's a brand new dress. Oh, mashallah, that's beautiful. You're so lucky to have an aunt who loves and cares about you. And isn't it wonderful that she can send you something halfway across the world from Morocco? How about you? Are you looking forward to dressing up in your new clothes tomorrow? I don't like getting dressed up by 11 o'clock. I'm all dirty. Oh, uh, we should always be thankful to our friends and family, but mostly we must be thankful to Allah to have given us the wonderful month of Ramadan and then this great celebration, the day of Eid. So let's all give thanks to Allah. And that reminds me, my book of rhymes for celebration times. Where's my songbook? Searching, searching, where do we find it? Looking, looking, high and low. Searching, searching, where do we find Zayn's book of rhymes? Where did it go? Searching, searching, where do we find it? Looking, looking, high and low. Searching, searching, where do we find Zayn's book of rhymes? Where did it go? Found it. Oh, thank you, Aisha. What was it doing on there? You know, I think when Ramadan comes along, we have so much more time on our hands, and I might have been writing a new song. But talking about songs, I've got a great song called Give Thanks to Allah. Would you like to sing it with me? Yes, yes. please. Excellent. Give thanks to Allah for the moon and the stars. Praise Him all day for what is and what was. Take hold of your Iman, don't give in to shaitan. Oh, you who believe, please give thanks to Allah. Allahu Ghafoor, Allahu Rahim, Allahu Yuhibbul Muh. Sinin, wa khaliquna, wa raziquna, wa huwa ala 
kulli shay'in qadir Allah is ghafoor Allah is rahim Allah is the one who loves the muhsinin He is a creator He is a sustainer And he is the one who has power over all Give thanks to Allah For the moon and the stars Praise him all day for what is and what was Take hold of your iman Don't give in to shaitan Oh you who believe Please give thanks to Allah Allahu ghafoor Allahu rahim Allahu yuhibbu al-muhsinin Wa khaliquna Wa raziquna Wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir Allah is ghafoor Allah is rahim Allah is the one who loves the muhsinin He is a creator He is a sustainer And he is the one who has power over all Oh, thank you for singing along with me That sounded amazing MashaAllah so, you know, talking about gifts, Dawood and I have got a special gift for both of you today. <gasps> Is it a BMX bike? The one that I've been wanting? Oh, those wheels! Man, those wheels! Oh, Yusuf, we probably would have loved to get you a BMX bike, but it's a little something different, and I think a little more special. Brother Zayn, there's something I've wanted to ask. No! You can't ask for the BMX bike. It's mine. Enough with the bike already! I just wanted to ask you, Brother Zayn, if you had a song about Eid. Oh, thank you, Aisha. Let me think. Hmm, let me check in my book. Let me see. Um, Eid. Hey, I've got a better idea. Why don't we write a song right now together about Eid? Do we have to? I mean, it's going to be a lot of hard work. Oh, come on, Yusuf. It's going to be fun. Okay, let me think. Let me see. I've got a pen around here. There we go. Now, let's think. So, let me ask you guys a few questions. This won't take up too much time. Firstly, so Eid comes after, the day of Eid al-Fitr comes after? Ramadan. Ramadan. So, uh, Ramadan has come and gone. That's good. And Eid is dawned upon us. Come and gone. Okay. And how do we feel on the day of Eid? Full of excitement and happiness and joy. That's great. I love that. I love that. And uh, what else? What else do we do on the day of Eid? We celebrate. We celebrate with... The blessed day. It's a blessed day. Very good. What else? Um, ooh, these are great ideas. Let me see if I can write them all down. Blessed day, celebrations. Do we do all these celebrations alone? We have a gathering. With who? With our family and our family friends. Family and our friends. That's great. Um... What else? Uh, now I just have to think of a chorus. Mm. Mm, I think I've got it. You see, that was easy. That just shows we can all write songs if we just give it a try. It took us like only like one minute. Exactly. So, let me see if I can sing it for you. This is now our song. Ramadan has come and gone, Eid has dawned upon us. Thank you, Allah, for this blessed day. It's a time of happiness, a time of joy. Thank you, Allah, for this blessed day. Eidun Saidun, Yomun Farhanun, Yomun Jamilun, Eidun Said. Eidun Saidun, Yomun Jamilun, Yomun Farhanun, Eidun Said. All over the world, under the big blue sky, Muslims unite to worship Allah. It's a time of brotherhood, a time of peace. Muslims are singing praises to Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Wallahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Family.
families are gathering, remembering Allah, and that His love is the greatest by far. All praise to you, Allah, all thanks to you. The joy of it comes only from you. Eid al Sa'id, Yom al Farhan, Yom al Jamil, Eid al Sa'id, Eid al Sa'id, Yom al Jamil, Yom al Farhan, Eid al Sa'id. This day of rejoicing, this day of peace, did only you make for those who believe. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alham. They say the Dawood, we join Islam. Oh, I'm so looking forward to the day of Eid tomorrow. You know, Dawood and I have got some great plans. We're going to visit the local hospital and try to sing for the kids, it's going to be amazing. Can we come too? Well, if you guys have time. Hi, it's Brother Dawood! Assalamu alaikum! Alaikum salam, Brother Dawood! Oh, how are all of my joyously jubilant laughing library pals doing today. I guess you're in a happy mood. Well, oh. everybody's supposed to be in a happy mood. Eid's here! For oh, sure. Mashallah. Eid Mubarak, everybody. Eid what Mubarak to you. Uh, what, which song were you singing outside? What? Oh, that one I was singing outside? That's a very old song. In fact, that's a song that the children of Medina sang for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he first made his migration from Mecca all the way to the city of Yathrib, which now we call Medina. Do you want to sing it with me, Zane? Oh, I would love to. Oh, yeah. the white moon rose over us from the valley of Wada. And we owe it to show gratefulness where the call is to Allah. Singing is such a great way to let your feelings out. You know, sometimes I think of my body kind of like a pop bottle. You know when you have a big bottle of pop or cream soda or you shake it up and you pop the lid, what happens? It explodes. It's all over the place. And our bodies are kind of the same way. If we keep all our feelings bottled up inside and we never let them out, you never know when they might pop out at the wrong time. Someone might come up to you and say, Assalamu alaikum. And you'll say, what do you want? Not a good way to let your feelings out. But when you sing, you can let your feelings out in a great way. I remember a really famous story. Something we're told happened to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And in fact, it seems to me it happened on an Eid day. When the Prophet had finished the Eid prayer and he had come back home, peace be upon him, he was in his home and there was children with him. And they were singing and drumming. And along came one of his companions, who heard the singing from outside of the house and stormed into the room saying, what are you doing singing these songs in the company of the prophet? May peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. He uncovered his head from the blanket that he was resting under and he said, these are the days of Eid. 
Well, singing is a great way on these special times to come together and, and sing and, and enjoy the day and to celebrate the fact that Allah has given us this wonderful day and blessed us with all that we have in life. We were just talking about what we're looking forward to on the day of Eid. Yusuf is spending it with his entire family. And Aisha just got a beautiful gift from her aunt in Morocco. Oh, wow. May I see it? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's pretty. And Dawood, talking about gifts, do you remember the special gift we had for the two of them? Oh, you know what? I don't know if... Maybe a little later. Yeah, that might be good. Come on, just give it to us. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Hey, I noticed you've got your songbook out. Were you singing some other songs about Ramadan oh, and Eid? We were. We were singing so many songs, but I must say, I just love the sound of it. It brings joy to the whole room every time you play it. You're right. In fact, long before there were other instruments made out of wood or wire, well, pretty well in every part of the world, to bring people together. Well, you can make a loud rhythm like this. To bring people together for a wedding or on Eid Day. But you could also play a quiet rhythm like this. If it was a sad occasion, or maybe even to put a baby to sleep. And if you look around the world at all of the things that Allah has created, you'll find that there's a rhythm in a lot of different things. Well, the, the planets make rhythm when they spin. And the wind blowing in the trees <sighs> makes a rhythm. Oh, there's rhythm in the seasons, the rhythm in the passing of time. There's even rhythm inside our own bodies. What makes rhythm inside your body? Our veins. Oh, the blood in our veins. Good, Yusa. What about you, Aisha? Can you think of anything in your body that makes rhythm? Well, it could be your heart. Oh, yeah. Our heartbeat. Take your hand and see if you can feel your heart. All oh, got that rhythm. We've all got that rhythm beating right inside of us. And you know what I think is really sad? When we fill the world with too many noises, we fill the world with cars, we fill the world with buildings, and we hide all of those beautiful rhythms that Allah has created around us. And what's even worse is when we fill the world with so much noise that we don't have that rhythm of hope inside of us. Hey, that reminds me of a song. It's called, Why Are the Drums So Silent? And it talks all about how we have to stop filling up this world with noises and pollution and start to listen more to the rhythms around us that Allah's created and the rhythm of our own heart that can bring us together with other people who want peace just like we do. It goes like this. All the sounds that surround us, all the noises that dumbfound us, the clatter and the clamor of the clutter in our lives. Cars and streets make silence shatter Idle minds fill up with idle chatter If we fill our void, that's all that matters Why are the drums so silent? Why can't we hear the rhythm? What's wrong with you and I? Why are the drums so silent? Why can't we hear the rhythm? From the heels of believers marching to the garden as they strive. We've digitized the revelation. Does our rehearsed recitation go any deeper than our throats? Our calls to prayer, they seem to rise up to the skies. Conferences and lectures, seminars for you and I. The words that blow away with an ashy that make us cry Yet why are the drums so silent? Why can't we hear the rhythm? What's wrong with you and I? Why are the drums so silent? Why can't we hear the rhythm? From the heels of believers Marching to the garden as they strive and if we can just be brave enough to be each other's mirror, we may finally recognize the face of conscience that we fear. If we can take the time to mute the noise we've built around ourselves, the rhythm of our heartbeats and our purpose will be clear. 
If we beat the drums of hope and faith, we will all fall into rhythm. I have faith in you and I. If we beat the drums of hope and faith, then we will feel the rhythm from our footsteps and our striving, marching to the garden as we strive. If we beat the drums of hope and faith, we will all fall into rhythm. I have faith in you and I. If we beat the drums of hope and faith, then we will feel the rhythm from our footsteps and our striving, marching to the garden as we try. Marching to the garden as we strive. 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 What a beautiful song. Yeah. Well, do you want to see it, Zane? Oh, man, it's really amazing. So you see, this is for a friend of yours, eh? Yeah, it belongs to a really good friend of mine. Oh, he's a fortunate guy. Yeah, he really is a fortunate guy. He's a real sweet guy, actually. So, it's Eid. What are you guys going to do tomorrow morning? First, I'm going to go to the Eid prayer. Then from there, we're going to go to my grandmother's house. We're going to see my uncles, aunts, cousins, cats, chickens, and birds. Man, we have quite a family. Yusuf was just telling us about his amazing family. Wow. Alhamdulillah. I'm looking forward to spending time with you tomorrow, man. Yeah, I think we're going to have a great day. Did you tell them what we're going to do tomorrow? Oh, yeah, we're going to the hospital. I just mentioned to, to them to visit all the children there. Yeah. You know, one of the things I love so much about Eid Day is waking up early, going to the place of the Eid Salah, and making the takbirat. Do you guys know the Eid takbir? Yes, we know. Oh, how about we practice it so we can get ready for tomorrow morning? Okay. Excellent, excellent. Oh, with pleasure. Thank you. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Alham, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Alham. Allah is great, Allah is great. There is no God but Allah. Allah is great, Allah is great. And all praise belongs to Allah. These are the days of Eid. Make takbir wherever you are. These are the days of Eid. Allahu Akbar. These are the days of Eid. Sing together, everyone. La ilaha illallah wa lillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Oh, wonderful. I guess we're ready for tomorrow. I think so. And speaking of tomorrow, um, what do you think, Zane? Do you think we should uh, pass along what we brought for our friend? Oh, you remember I was telling you guys earlier that Dawood and I have got you guys some. Just give it to us. Well, we thought we'd get you something really, really special because we could have bought you many things. But do you remember early on when you couldn't believe that we could write a song together in such a short space of time? Yeah. Well, we got you something that will help you, inshallah, for a very long time to keep writing and keep thinking and keep expressing yourselves through all different times. So, we got you one, two, two three, your very own Book of Rhymes! For different times. Oh my god! For a lifetime. Thank you. Eid Mubarak, Yusuf. Eid Mubarak, Aisha. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. I can't believe it. now we have a songbook. I could write all my songs in this. Okay, Assalamu Alaikum. Eid Mubarak. Assalamu Alaikum. Eid Mubarak. I can't wait to write in this.
Oh, they was, did you see their smile? Yeah. Oh, that's just great. Oh, man. We choose to be Muslim. We follow the Quran. We say in and We're enjoying Islam in the special library. So much to learn, so much to see. Just to be Muslim, we follow the Quran, we say it and I will.